Next property is alkalinity. Now, I didn't really know a lot about alkalinity, and I'm a personal trainer and a health coach, and I thought I knew a lot about nutrition, but I didn't really know a lot about acid alkaline balance. On the chart here, this is a picture of a pH scale. We have acidic, which goes starting at one, and alkaline all the way to 14. You know, just like your body has a normal body temperature, right? 98.6, okay, how about your blood pH? Anybody know what that is? It's 7.365, okay? So really, you're trying to, your blood has to stay at that level, okay? Can't deviate more than two tenths of a point or your body cannot survive. So it's a pretty important number to know. Okay, so when you, when you get sick, when you get the flu and you start going to 100, 101, 102, you find out right away, right? Well, what happens when your body pH starts moving away from that alkaline into the acidic zone? You don't find out till years go by when you start getting issues, right? Acidic related diseases. So what we're looking to do is put something into the body that's alkaline to help bring our body back to balance where we were born so it can heal itself, okay? So unless you're eating broccoli for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you're probably acidic, okay? And um, definitely with some of these beverages you've been putting in your body that you thought were good for you, you're bringing your body even more acidic. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take my phenol red pH drops. I'm going to put a few drops in each of these liquids and we'll find out what we've been drinking. Okay, so it only takes a few drops and you'll see these start to turn colors. So yellow or orange is going to be acidic. We're looking for a purple color. And I've got the tap water here. Okay, so so far, mainly acidic, right? We have our soda here. That's pretty acidic looking to me, okay? Not only is it oxidizing, it's very acidic. How about the sports drinks? Those are probably even more acidic, right? Now we have Propel, I'm sorry, Pellegrino. Again, acidic. And how about our healthy vitamin water? These are all very acidic. They're keeping you even more acidic. Now we have bottled water, Aquafina. Again, acidic. Here's the Dasani. You guys can see that? It's acidic. Now we have tap water, which to me, that looks pretty good. It looks like maybe I should just drink tap water, right? But the problem with tap water, um, if I were to measure rain water, say it was raining right now, and I went out with a cup and I put the pH drops in it, it would come out looking acidic. For some reason, once it goes through those municipal pipes and into the chemical plant where it gets treated, it comes out blue. So we said, well, what's going on in there? Well, they're adding some things to the water, and I'm sure you all know that there's chlorine and fluoride, a lot of different chemicals that are inside of the tap water. In addition to that, they add a chemical called lye, which raises the pH so that their um, pipes don't rust, because this water goes through the municipal pipes. So it's the only water that's regulated by the government, because if they put acidic water through their pipes, they would rust, right? So you're the only one that's looking out for your own pipes. So I wouldn't recommend putting this in there. So again, nothing on here that I would recommend putting in your body, except for this one right here. This is our Kangen water, 9.5 pH. As you can see, this is a beautiful purple alkaline water. Okay? So I'm gonna show you really quick what happens when we drink this water, okay? Again, this is my Kangen water right here, and most all of you, like I said, are acidic, right? Just by breathing the air, which is acidic, tends to bring your body acidic. Also, eating foods, 80% of them that you're putting in your body are acidic, okay? Other things like stress, working out, all these things are basically producing acidic waste in your body. So, let's say this is you, okay? And here we go with our Kangen water. I'm gonna put a little bit in this cup, and you can see I just brought you alkaline, right? So I'm going to go ahead and do that a couple more times, right there with the Aquafina. Uh, now I'm going to do that with our tap water. And now I'm going to go over to this vitamin water. You can see there's not enough room in that glass for me to make it alkaline. So if you're drinking vitamin water, you're probably going to have to drink about 24 cups of my Kangen water just to neutralize that one cup. Okay. So now I'm going to do the Pellegrino, which tries 
but you can see it goes right back acidic. Okay, so you can see these two beverages so far very acidic. Now we'll go with the Propel. And again, similar to the vitamin water, about 24 parts to one with the Propel. Okay, and what do you think about the soda? Well, the soda is so bad, I actually need 32 cups of my Kangen water just to neutralize that one glass of soda. So that means if you're drinking one of these a day, you need to drink three gallons of our Kangen water at the 9.5 pH just to neutralize it. Okay, and I know some people who are drinking a couple of these a day. Okay, so if we're giving you this Kangen water and you decide to cheat, we're going to know. Okay, I'm going to take this diluted soda, put the Kangen water in it, right? And I'm going to go down and cheat one day and have a sip. You can see right away you're going to go straight back acidic and you're probably not going to see any results whatsoever from our Kangen water because this is pretty much like putting poison in your body. So if you've learned one thing, I hope you've realized that you really need to end these type of beverages and mainly just stick with our nice Kangen water here.